Hey, what's up guys, TJ here. In this video, I'm gonna quickly take you through all the gear I'm running for the 1819 season. Let's get into it. All right, I'll start off with my main snowboard this year, which is the Arbor Westmark Camber. This guy is gonna have a mid-flex, full positive camber, really, really versatile snowboard, and it's gonna be my go-to board whenever I'm not doing board reviews. Something that's gonna be capable in any condition. A couple of key pieces of tech in the Westmark that I really like is the Grip Tech side cut, gonna help give me extra grip on ice and variable terrain as well as the uprise fenders. So the contact points, the base and edge is lifted up just a little bit, helping to make it less catchy. All in all, really fun snowboard that's gonna be solid anywhere that I take it. I'm pairing my boards this year with the Union Strata binding. It's a new binding on the Union line this year. I'm stoked to be trying it out. It's a solid all around do anything kind of binding. And the two big highlights I've noticed so far on the Strata is the new footbed that they have as well as the ankle strap. It's really, really comfortable, offers some good dampening as well. And I think it's gonna be a solid binding to be using for the board reviews and be capable everywhere that we're traveling this year. So for bindings, running the Union Strata. For boots this year, I'm trying out some new boots. It's the Adidas Tactical ADV boot. I got these boots for a few reasons. One, when I was trying them on in the store, they were just really comfortable and they were holding my heel down really well. I'm not getting any heel lift in these guys. And they're a solid mid flex. So they're gonna offer good support and responsiveness. And some decent support is something that I really look for in boots for my ankles. So I'm feeling good about these Adidas boots so far. And they also run the Boost Foam Sole. So I think these are gonna be really solid this year. All right, moving right along. I picked up a new jacket this year as well. It's the Volcom Stretch Gore Jacket. Picked it up for a few reasons. First of all, for the Gore-Tex, gonna offer that reliable waterproofing while still being nice and breathable. And I'm stoked to test out the Gore-Tex Stretch as well. I haven't tried out the Stretch yet. I think it's just gonna add a little bit of extra comfort to the jacket. And I also really like the way that it fits. I size down to a medium jacket from a large this year, but Volcom does what they call a drop tail fit. So it actually goes down pretty far. It's got a nice slim and long fit to it. And it's also got all those little features that I look for in a jacket, like pockets and things like that. So this should be a pretty solid jacket for the season. I'm pairing the Volcom jacket with Volcom pants. I picked up the Volcom articulated pants. They offer 15K waterproofing, which should be pretty decent, even in wet conditions. And honestly, guys, I just like the way that they look. So I'm pretty stoked on this combo right here. And the good thing about pairing Volcom pants with a Volcom jacket is the zip tech. So I can actually zip my pants to my jacket on powder days. That way no snow is gonna be getting down uh, through my waist. I picked up probably the nicest pair of gloves I've ever had this season, guys. They are the Oyuki Tamashi Mitt, are indeed and tested in Niseko, Japan. They're just a really high quality mitten. They're gonna keep my hands completely dry. And I'd say they're like a medium warmth mitten. So they should be pretty decent on cold days for me. My hands don't tend to get too cold, but they'll be pretty versatile as well, even once the temperatures start to warm up a bit. These mittens also have a nice soft material on your thumbs, which is great for wiping your goggles or wiping camera lenses. And it's gonna come in handy all the time and definitely gonna be taking them out to Japan. So we'll test them out in the stomping grounds in Niseko. I also always wear a face mask and this year I'm wearing the Blackstrap Team Hood. It's the face mask I'm wearing right now. I like this face mask because it's a little bit thicker and I feel that it's pretty versatile. It's really easy to cinch down and tighten up to your face if you want that extra warmth or you can also wear it looser. So it's got a bit of a different look to it and it's still very functional. Comes in a wide variety of colors. It's the Blackstrap Team Hood. I'm pretty stoked on it. And then for my goggles this year, I switched it up to the Smith Squad XL goggles. I like these guys because they come in at a good price. You're gonna get a bonus lens with it. So it comes with a highlight and a low light lens and they sit really close to my face. That was one of the big things that I like about these guys. They're low profile and they still have really good peripherals. The lenses you're gonna get with these are also Smith Chroma Pop, so it's gonna have that color optimization tech. So, so all around a really solid goggle that should perform well in any condition this year. This year for my kind of free ride slash powder board, I'm rocking the Capita Kazu Pro. It's a really fun, more directional style snowboard. It's gonna be fun for carving. It's gonna offer that powder performance 
and you can even take it in the park if you want to. So it's a nice, well-rounded snowboard. I'm excited to try it out out here in Whistler this year. I think we're gonna get a lot of good conditions to really put that board to the test. Another couple of things I'll share with you guys is my layers. So for a base layer, I'm rocking the Air Blaster Ninja Suit. It's a one-piece base layer, super, super warm, super comfortable, highly recommend it. And I also have a mid layer. For my mid layer, I wear the Arcteryx Atom LT jacket. It's very, very packable, so it's easy to just keep in your backpack and pull it out whenever you need it. Honestly, that's one of my favorite pieces. I wear it under hoodies, I wear it under jackets. I definitely would recommend checking out a mid layer if you don't already have one. And then as a bonus, I also picked up the Ride Twin Pig this year. I had too much fun on it at Mount Hood. I had to pick it up for myself. It's got a little bit of rocker in the tips and it's a little bit softer than the Westmark. So I'll probably use it a bit more for jibbing, but the biggest feature on the Twin Pig that I like is that it's actually naturally really wide. So it's really fun for carving and I was also able to downsize it. So I'm riding the 151, making it a little bit more maneuverable and I think that that's gonna make it even more fun for jibbing as well. And then last thing guys, my helmet, still rocking the Sandbox Classic 2.0 been on this helmet for like five or six years now. I like it a lot because it's a really low profile helmet. I really like the brimmed look and it offers venting as well. So if you're hiking or doing anything strenuous, you're gonna get some airflow going. It's gonna offer a good look and it's gonna protect your head. So definitely make sure you pick up a helmet. I'm rocking the classic 2.0 from Sandbox this year. Alright guys, so that's my gear list for the 1819 season. If you want to check any of this gear out, I'll have it all linked down in the description. Thanks for watching and we will see you in a new video soon. Peace out guys.